Please, everyone, don't live in fear during these times. And don't let it stress you out. It's actually academic. The stress breaks down the body and causes disease, and we don't want that. Not at a time like this. There's studies out there that prove that fear and stress can create memory loss, can break down your immune system, which is really important right now. It creates um, loss of bone density, mental illness, heart rate gets increased, blood pressure rises. Nah. I mean, we hear that stress is bad for us, but why is it bad for us? Because in the adrenal gland, when we become fearful or stressed, it releases cortisol into our bodies. During fight or flight, I mean, we run. We either fight or we flight. So fighting creates energy, expands energy, and if we flight, if we run, spends energy. So therefore, the cortisol during that time, which is what it was made for, is released. It, it dissipates out of our body because we use up the cortisol for energy. But what's going on now? We're stuck in our homes and we're being fearful and we're stressed. I mean, our kids are home, husbands are home from work. I mean, yeah, it might be fun. You know, I was reading that poem uh, inspired by Dr. Seuss, you know, daddy's reading books to the kids and mommy's coloring with them and they're all cooking, yeah. But that might not always be the case. They might be bickering at each other because they're getting in each other's way all the time. Also, we're watching the news and it's stressing us out because the mainstream media wants us to be upset. They want us to be afraid. They want us to stay in our homes and not go out. So what can we do to alleviate this cortisol going into our bodies? What can we do to relieve even getting into a stressful situation in the first place. So it's probably a good idea at this time to uh, shut down the news. I mean, maybe get, actually the newspaper might actually be better. That way we can pick it up when we need to pick it up and look at it and put it down and walk away from it. So that's one way that we can alleviate even getting stressed out in the first place. I think it's a good idea to actually stay away from people that are fear mongers and people who want to shame other people because maybe they don't feel they're doing enough, they're not wearing enough glove. That might be one way to relieve the stress in the first place. Don't let it get in there. But we're all gonna kind of probably feel it at times. I know I do too. So there are four ways that we can get the cortisol out of our body and begin to heal, bend it out, and relax just a little bit more. So the first one is exercise. I'm at a park. I think that's why I just naturally feel the need to walk. And I feel the need to walk all the time. It's not that I'm, it's probably why I don't feel stressed out or become fearful of things. I mean, as a nomad in my lifestyle, you have to be pretty fearless to do it. And people say, aren't you afraid? Aren't you afraid like parking in a parking lot or whatever? I'm not really. I think more people are gonna actually harm people, go into their houses or whatever, than actually bother some car. I mean, what could be in the car? I mean, yeah, they do, but I just don't feel fearful. I'm not gonna feel fear and I'm not gonna be stressed out over it. So I think already I've learned to overcome fear and stress. So walking already is a good way to relieve it. And that's what I'm going to do now. You're going to have to decide what works for you in your certain situation. Number two, meditation. 
form of meditation if you know how to meditate. 10, 15 minutes a day. The meditators, they know. Christians, they meditate on the Lord. They read the Bible and they think about Him and they pray. That's meditation. 10, 15 minutes a day. I mean, there's no time limit or a time you have to do 10, 15 minutes to talk to God. You can just walk around and talk to Him at the park. Breathing deep. Breathe deep. Ten times. If you're taking an exam, they tell students to breathe deep ten times. It'll bring oxygen into their brain, help their memory, release cortisol, because after all, uh, they know that an exam is very stressful. They want to release that stress so they can think, because stress creates memory loss. Proven, it's scientific. I know so many people like it. Is it science? Yes, you can take it to the bank. That is science. The ducks know. They know number three. Social connectivity releases stress. It dis helps dissipate cortisol out of our bodies, created by fear and stress. I mean, I don't think there are very many happy ducks that are just alone all the time. Look at them, they like to be together. Ooh, they're all together. They're not, they're not social distancing, although I think it's a good thing that we kind of do, but I think they might be taking it too far because they're gonna end up making us more sick. I mean, it's a fact, it's science. So how can we stay connected socially during this time and still social distance? Well, you can watch my videos and then comment and I'll reply back to you. I'd like to stay in contact with all of you. I put my email address in the description. You can email me, some already do. If you wanna discuss things that are going on in private and I'll email you back, I will. Well, how else? Um, use Skype or Google Duo to uh, connect up visually and audibly with your friends and your family during this time. A lot of families that live far apart, they already do that. Yeah. Find a way for your children to connect with other children. They live to be with other kids. It is so stressful for a child to not be with other children. And they're closing down parks, smaller parks. I know my daughter said that the small park right down the street from them is a really nice park. They closed it down. There's no way for my granddaughter, and now they've closed all the schools, there's no way for her to connect up um, unless the parents make sure that they're connecting up. And that's going to have to happen because those kids are going to be super stressed and they're going to act it out. So make sure that the children are getting connected, that you're getting connected with friends, family, um, anybody socially um, on the network. If you're emailing somebody or you're just uh, connecting up, making comments on YouTube. I appreciate you guys so much because I feel connected even though. I feel connected, so, very important. Number four, music. Music will help relieve stress. It's proven, studies show it. review all the ways to relieve stress and fear and dissipate all the cortisol in our bodies. Activity, exercise, 
any way, any way you can get it. Even if it's sitting in your chair, if you can't exercise very well, moving your arms. Move your arms. Lift your leg up one at a time. From the very basic all the way to riding your bike. Playing tennis. Number two, meditation. Meditate the best you can. Try different techniques. Pray. Breathe deep ten times. Do that a bunch of times during the day. If you feel stressed out, if you can remember, take the time to breathe deep. I mean, they say even if you get upset over somebody, it's better to walk away. Take 10, 20 deep breaths, come back, and then you can discuss it properly. And it doesn't matter what religion you are. I don't judge anybody. I'm a Christian. You might be a Muslim. You might be a Buddhist. You might be an atheist. I don't know. Maybe you worship the stars in nature. I don't know. But meditate on it. Number three, social connectivity. Connect socially with other people during, throughout the day. You can connect socially with me anytime you want to, either in comments or you can email me. I guarantee you. I will reply. And number four, music. Listen to music. My household was always one we didn't watch that much TV. I had music going. All kinds, I love all kinds of music. My favorite is sort of electronic music. Ugh. I love electronic music. I love Kayo. There's many more. But I love it all. I like some country. I even like some of the 50s, 40s, and 50s stuff. The crooners, 80s music, OMG. 90s alternative music. Kurt Cobain. Alana Morissette, oh my gosh, yes. Because my children were teenagers during that time. And I still follow stuff too, for t from today. Not much on rap, but opera, mm. Phantom of the Opera. I love that one, but yeah. Music, music, music. You can make music too, and dancing. So. Music and dancing, you're killing two birds with one stone, although I don't advocate killing birds. I love you guys. Have a great day.